Nova 3D Whale 2 is an MSLA resin printer with 4K resolution and huge printing volume. This printer is extremely well built and looks really nice. So if you are looking for a resin printer or even better a huge resin printer, then I recommend to continue watching this video because it might be your next printer. But before we go into review this unboxing. The printer is almost ready. After leveling the bed, we are ready to start printing. For bed leveling you need to have one sheet of paper. Highly recommended is printing paper. But I don't have this in my new home, so I am using the instruction paper that came with the printer. But how to level the bed? There is 6 bolts, 4 of them regulate the height of the printing platform. You have to screw them till you feel slight friction. If you feel that the bed is leveled, then screw those two middle bolts and the bed is locked and leveled. And now there is nothing else to do to start with the first print. Right now I am using Anycubic green translucent resin. Nova 3D sent me also their own resin but I haven't received the package yet. Two test models are already saved to the printer memory and I am going to print those. Meanwhile the printer is printing, I can already say that this printer feels really premium. It's unbelievably heavy and it's because everything is made of metal. Resin vat, boiling platform, printer body. There are no plastic parts. And second, it's really silent. Resin printers usually are silent. The only thing that makes the noise is a fan. This printer fan is really silent and it's not all the time running. When the cooling is needed, printer turns the fan on, and if not anymore, it shuts it down. When the fan is off, the printer is dead silent. You cannot tell the printer is printing without seeing the screen. I already see that this print is absolutely beautiful. I washed this print with isopropic alcohol and cured it. And I also printed the second test model. It's this little octopus with moving legs. Actually I printed two of them because they are just so cool. Those three models, what can I say, <laughs> big success. They turned out just amazing. A couple of days later I received the Nova 3D resin. So I did the resin chains. Pouring resin out of the vat is also made really user friendly because at the one corner is this little cut. And the process is way less messier than without this little thing. Nova 3D sent me 500 grams of their resin. I bore all the resin in and I didn't even hit the maximum line. So here is my recommendation. If you are planning to use this type of huge printer, go for 1 kilogram bottles. And now it's time to slice my own models. Sounds easy but this didn't go so smoothly. So what's happened? My favorite slicer for resin printers is Situbox and I was ready to use to slice some models for my Whale 2. But at this moment I didn't know that this printer can read only CVS files. But Shichubox cannot export CVS files. I started googling what to do. I find a plugin for my situation. It absolutely didn't work. The program crashed when I tried to export CVS file. So I did a bit more digging and I find another plugin. This almost worked. I succeeded to export CVS file with Shichubox but the printer didn't start printing this file. Everything that I just described took me half day. So I gave up and I downloaded Nova 3D own slicer. The slicer is not bad. It has a lot of features and tools. It's just my personal opinion, 
but I don't feel comfortable working in this slicer. You know, this gear is sliced with this slicer and it definitely does the job, but I just don't feel that I want to stick on this slicer. If I don't have any other option, of course I will use this, but I was searching for more slicers that can export CVS files and I came across a slicer card Lichi or Lichu and I love it. I'm not going to do an overview of this slicer, but it's free, it can export CVS files and it has Nova 3D printers in the printers library, including Whale 2. All upcoming models are sliced with Lichu. Before we are going to review my last prints, let's do a quick overview of this printer features and specs. This printer has huge building volume, 192 x 120 x 250 mm and 8.9 inch 4K LCD screen. And also the watt is huge, to fill this up to the maximum line you need a bit more than half a liter of resin. C axis has two linear rails that make the movement extra smooth. Also this printer has Wi-Fi, so you can send your models to the printer wireless, but it works only with Nova 3D on slicer. Front of the printer is 4.3 inch touchscreen, user interface is really logic and simple to use, but the touchscreen isn't the most responsive one. And last but not least, my two favorite things, you can pause this print and when you do so the print platform raise up. That's how you can check did the print stick to the building platform. And next, this really small thing, but this button over here, printer automatically shut down when the print is ready. This is a small thing, but it's so handy and it should be standard feature for all 3D printers. And of course, print quality, there is nothing to complain about. Small details, sharp edges, everything is there, perfect. All those models turned out absolutely beautiful and not even single print failed. So far I have enjoyed this printer and I'm looking forward to print more. And by the way this Empire State Building, I love this model and it's amazing. But you know on the top should be an antenna. This printer actually printed this but I brought this when I was washing and curing this model. Whoops. This undead skeleton, it looks a bit blurry, it's because I use maximum anti-aliasing. That's why the details that should pop are a bit difficult to see. Actually I shouldn't use anti aliasing for this model at all. But there is one thing that we haven't spoken about and this is this printer price. This printer cost $599 or 520 somewhere euros. This is really reasonable and fair price for this printer. For who I can recommend this printer? I don't see any reason why I shouldn't say for everybody. Or maybe someone who cannot stop using Shishu Box for some reason, this isn't the best choice. If you are a complete beginner and wanna have your first resin printer, or you have already a lot of experience, Weld U is the choice for you. I hope I was helpful for you, or at least you enjoyed watching. For me it was a pleasure to test this absolutely amazing printer. But thank you for watching and see you guys really soon with upcoming project videos. Bye!